So here's the bidet sprayer. I did it all down there. It was hard because it's very tight down there. There wasn't really enough space for me to put it in, but uh, I made it work. That is the temperature control. So that's the one that I just keep on. So I don't have to adjust it every single time. Um, so that one's just like on a like normal to warm sort of setting, like normal temperature water, room temperature. Here's the bidet. Now the temperature of this is not on full right now. So again, if you turn that up all the way, it's like really pressurized. It, for me, it's kind of like halfway or so. So it's like this much. It works pretty well. And it's pretty long. Like if you look at this, it goes like all the way almost to the wall. So it's really long. You don't have to worry about that. I can even take it all the way to the other side into the sink. So, and it's very flexible, so I could turn this around and everything. It's very flexible and nice. This is the handle thingy that I just kind of put in here. It doesn't move around that much, so that's not an issue at all. I haven't had any issues with it. And then I just went around and I connected the hot water under the sink up there. So again, there was like barely any space up there to add anything, but I just like, I moved everything and I just, I made it work. But um, yeah, and then just so it doesn't do any damage over here, because the cabinet is closed, I just put some tape around it. So it just kind of sits like that. And the cabinet's always just like a little bit open, but I'm okay with that because it works pretty well. Yeah, and that's it.